Do you consume pepper? Do you like it? In this video, I will inform you about the impact on your body when you eat pepper every day. What are the advantages? Obtain scientific evidence. In order to create this video, I read and analyzed a total of 68 articles. You always inquire, therefore the articles are permanently placed in the initial comment. Those who want to read after watching the video to verify if it's true, the scientific foundations, they can find it there for further examination. You all witnessed the effort to create this video. I spent over 8 hours solely on research to provide you with scientific content. So the least you can do is give this video a like. Let's set a goal of obtaining 10,000 likes for it. It is unacceptable that you don't like it after so many hours preparing this content. No, uh, kidding, you can enjoy if you want. Uh, let's go, let's start then. Number one. One of the great benefits of pepper, in my opinion, this one is one of the main ones, is that if you consume pepper, you have the ability to, in a scientifically proven way, significantly reduce your salt consumption. You can decrease in a dramatic way. Why? Because the food becomes more seasoned, it becomes more flavorful. There are a multitude of individuals who add salt to enhance the flavor. And if you incorporate pepper, you have the ability to significantly decrease salt and sodium intake levels. We possess knowledge that the consumption of salt is linked to excessive consumption which is associated with an increased risk of high blood pressure, an increased risk of heart attack, and an increased risk of stroke in individuals. What is the average salt consumption? From the United States, 11 grams of salt. In Brazil, there are 10 grams of salt, and in Portugal, there are also 11 grams of salt. What is the recommendation? Up to 5 grams. Therefore, we consume at least double the recommended amount. This has consequences such as the one I explained in the cardiovascular system, in our circulation, in high blood pressure. If you replace salt with pepper, you are reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease and improving your cardiovascular health. A study found that people who consumed the recommended amount up to 5 grams of salt had a 40% lower risk of having a stroke. Just see how meaningful it is simply by doing this by replacing salt with pepper or seasonings. I'm going to give you a suggestion here, which is something that I use now, not as a doctor anymore. I'm giving this advice as a friend. What do I do? In order to decrease salt consumption, I create a mixture by combining a quarter portion of black pepper, a quarter portion of chili pepper, half portion of only pepper, and then I supplement it with garlic, onion, parsley, and thyme. This is the seasoning I utilize in my meals. Here is a helpful suggestion for you. By following this method, I can avoid the need for salt. Tastes better in food. Now, if I go to a restaurant and the food is salty, I can't eat it anymore. This is highly advantageous for maintaining good health. If you limit your intake, it is recommended to consume a maximum of 5 grams of salt or 2 grams of sodium daily. So, this will help you a lot. And often the person has high blood pressure, ends up exaggerating in salt consumption. What is a very significant loss to health? So, look, the primary great advantage of pepper is that you are able to decrease salt consumption. Number two, pepper and insulin resistance. In studies, including in the research findings, including studies in humans, indicates that pepper has the potential to enhance insulin sensitivity. And what does that mean? that the body has the ability to metabolize, process blood sugar in a more efficient way. This article is also in the description if you are curious and would like to read more in depth about the topic. However, in this conversation, I am referring to a faster method, and it is already known that there is scientific evidence indicating that pepper can improve this particular aspect. Ah, but what is the substance that accomplishes this? There is a substance in pepper known as capsaicin, which is a substance that has been extensively researched for its health advantages. And one of the advantages of this is that it has the ability to act on insulin sensitivity, which can be beneficial for health. Inclusive, there are studies. These studies are smaller. I cannot prove how much pepper can reduce. I have to tell you that. But there are human studies 
that indicate pepper's potential to reduce our glucose, our blood sugar in the case of fasting, which is a very significant finding. Did you enjoy this info? Look, there are already two surprising perks of pepper here. The third advantage, also attributed to this substance, capsaicin, is that pepper possesses the ability to serve as an analgesic for alleviating nerve pain. So, diabetic neuropathy, for instance, has patients who experience a significant amount of pain and our medication options are extremely restricted. So, there is scientific evidence in humans as well that pepper containing the active ingredient capsaicin can be beneficial in these situations. Here I will add that certain studies that demonstrate this benefit of enhancing nerve pain with pepper also utilize topical capsaicin solution, which refers to the cream in this particular instance. However, it is yet another advantageous aspect for pepper. The fourth benefit of using pepper is that it is rich in vitamin C, which makes it a valuable addition to a healthy diet. Vitamin C is crucial for maintaining a healthy immune system. You already knew, everyone talks about vitamin C to avoid catching a cold. But this is justified because vitamin C acts on our immune system. Vitamin C also has a role in the production of collagen and the absorption of iron. Because in the absence of vitamin C, although you can consume iron-rich foods, your body will not be able to absorb it effectively. So if you place the small pepper in that location, you also obtain this particular benefit. One of the benefits is that pepper, apart from adding flavor, is also rich in vitamin E, specifically alpha tocopherol, which acts as a powerful antioxidant. And vitamin E, with its antioxidant function of protecting free radicals, it possesses the well-known function of anti-aging that everyone is familiar with. In fact, it safeguards cells from the damage caused by these free radicals. This could be referred to as an anti-aging function. Not the one everyone promises won't age, but will protect cells from damage of free radicals. So it is an additional advantageous point for pepper. Furthermore, pepper also possesses a highly fascinating vitamin that is essential for our vision, which is known as vitamin A. Not only for vision, but also for our overall body health. Vitamin A is highly important, thus making it the sixth benefit of pepper. The digit seven is an exceedingly intriguing benefit, which pepper possesses the capability to enhance our metabolism by increasing the oxidation of lipids, fats in our body, thereby potentially improving our overall health and well-being. So she can facilitate the process of burning fat for you. Ah, but what is her method for accomplishing that? Capsaicin is the stimulant of our sympathetic nervous system it has the ability to enhance the production of certain substances that facilitate the mobilization and utilization of our fat stores. Ah, but what are the substances? Catecholamines, for instance. I mentioned I would explain simply, but I must provide this explanation because I know many people will inquire why the pepper acts like this. Therefore, she has the potential to enhance our capacity, our strength, and our ability to engage in physical activities. This also has scientific evidence and is benefit number eight. Benefit number nine is that pepper also contains substances with anti-inflammatory properties, which help facilitate the functioning of our body. Also, due to these substances I'm discussing, namely capsaicin, some studies indicate benefits for individuals with osteoarthritis, joint wear, and other diseases improving pain in rheumatoid arthritis. Also some studies in that formula I mentioned in cream, but capsaicin is one of the main ingredients of pepper. Ah, but who is unable to consume pepper? Does pepper cause harm to the stomach or harm the liver? No, pepper does not cause harm to the stomach and also does not cause harm to the liver. This is a myth. What happens is that if you already have any stomach disease, if you have an ulcer, for example, your stomach is already injured, then the pepper can irritate even more. If you have any allergies to any component of the pepper, then you cannot consume it. But pepper doesn't cause that, but it can worsen if you already have some stomach or intestinal problem. So you have to be careful about that too. 
In addition to that seasoning I told you about at the beginning of the video, I really like to use pure Calabrian pepper and also a Malagueta pepper sauce. And you, send me a message here. What kind of pepper do you like, if you like it or if you don't like it? Grade this video from 0 to 10. If it's 10, I'll create more videos similar to this one. Also write in the comments which city you are talking about, which part of the world you belong to. I speak from Porto Alegre. Now I'm going to give you a suggestion to watch. It's a video where I give eight tips for you to stop consuming sugar. I already talked about salt. With this tip, you have to know about sugar too. These eight tips are valuable and will be very beneficial to your health. A hug. Until next time, 